terribly urgent, the words of the Greek finance minister to describe his country's financial situation. Greece has met a critical deadline on its huge debt, but there's concern Athens is building up more problems for a potentially cruel summer. CCTV's Owen Furclough has more. Greece repaid more than $800 million in bailout money to the International Monetary Fund a day ahead of its deadline. But how it managed that has only triggered fresh worries over its prospects of surviving the summer. In order to pay off some of the billions of dollars of debt they have here at the International Monetary Fund, Greek officials say they've effectively drained the reserves of cash they have here. Imagine using your credit card to pay off your mortgage with nothing left in the current account and you begin to see how precarious the situation is. Especially as there is less money flowing into government accounts and Athens must find nearly $2 billion to pay the IMF in June and double that amount by the end of the year. The government is blunt about its immediate future. I shall be frank with you. The liquidity issue is uh, a terribly urgent issue. This is common knowledge. Let's not beat about the bush and pretend otherwise. The looming cash crunch also threatens the livelihoods of Greek civil servants. By the end of May, the government must find money to pay salaries and pensions, estimated at nearly $2 billion. This is a significant figure, given all of the previous payments that have been made. There is still some optimism. The European Central Bank has increased its emergency lending to help keep Greek banks afloat. And European officials say they could start paying out the final $8 billion of bailout money at the same time Greece passes unpopular reforms aimed at saving money. But that will depend on a coalition elected to roll back austerity policies, convincing partners and voters it must change course. Owen Fairclough, CCTV, Washington.